Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back, everybody. Tonight is Monday, so you know what that means. We got Micro Mondays tonight in the house. How's everybody tonight? Glad you guys could make it, can tune in to the show. Everybody can say what's up, what everybody's up to. We got a couple of uh, news headlines for you. A whole bunch of stuff went down this weekend. Hope you all had a great holiday and a great weekend with the family or hanging around or even crawling. Let me know what you guys did in the in the chat below. <clears throat> me personally, uh, kept it pretty chill. Went to go see my parents for Thanksgiving. Um... Then just came back home pretty much the rest of the weekend. Enjoyed it with the family. Got a few little quick builds in. Just like this one right here. And yeah, we'll talk about that one in a little bit. And uh, we'll also talk about all the sales that are going live. The last minute uh, Cyber Monday sales. If you guys haven't got your shopping done or... Uh, particular looking for that sick gift for yourself or for somebody who's into the rc uh, micros specifically we got a few uh, people that are still having some sales so make sure to hop on if you guys see mark let me know i'll bring him right on <clears throat> let's see what everybody's up to t freddy in the house Tactical Stand, Killer Yoda, We Were Kings, let's go, 818, 818 Slither, Slytherin, what up my boy, RC Freak 707, RC 5150, my guy, what up Sergio, Flub RC, KZ Lazy in the house, thanks guys, big chilling tonight, <laughs> kind of going slow and steady, people are dropping stuff one week at a time but you know when those quiet weeks are happening you know something's about to drop so always stay tuned flub rc oh yeah he's he's been busy guys flub rc if you guys haven't picked up any flub rc over the weekend make sure to grab that i don't see mark but Let's get into a couple of the sales that I want to share with you guys if you haven't sent. So, Flub RC, he's got deals on deals on deals. The main thing, I think, is uh, the code give thanks. So, get 15% off some big stashes. You know, don't end. Uh, also, if you guys haven't grabbed the 4.19s or 4.75, the new inserts from Flubber Stuffers, speaking of that, going to 110 real quick, make sure to support the homie. These are actually some J Concepts 3.8 foams, so look at, I'm sure that the 4.19s would be perfect. They actually do fit a good amount of tires. And also, he has the pre-orders live today for uh, 155 sizes. So, um, speaking of 155, those will be popular for the UBT-18s. Sort of micro, right? Not really. But, there you go. UTB-18s, I believe. Let me know. I don't even know. But uh, let's see. Shout out to Flow Bar C. Give thanks. Last minutes. Um, also, who I've noticed is... Uh, who else? Let me see real quick. My bad, guys. There was some sales going on. Uh, oh, I know Enjora's got a couple of sales going down. I'm sure you guys be picking up like little things at a time from Enjora, and then you're like, all right, let me grab this, and then this item, and, like some shocks, and then it kind of adds up to 
almost like a hundred bucks. So they got up to like 10, 15 bucks off with some codes. If you guys know any uh, other people, oh, dude, who am I thinking about, man? Dude, shout! Look at look at what I got right here, Maz, my boy Maz Designs. You guys, Cyber Monday, you got a ever wanted a titanium cheat code? You can get the cheat code ten dollars off today. Or if you guys ever wanted some of his wheels, double stars, black or raw, you can get them ten dollars off. Or if you want both, like a combo, you get twenty five off. So that's a little deal going on in Maz Designs. Shout out to Maz Designs. Ends tonight at midnight. All these deals. And uh, let's actually take a look real quick. If you guys hopped on any deals yourself, RC related, uh, let me know. What did that credit card do? <laughs> did it do good this weekend, or did it? Was it just rough? You just swiped away and didn't look. Let's see. What up, Lacosa? T. Frady got his Muse Portal CVDs today. If you guys been following us in the Micro Mondays, we found uh, pretty good portals that we've been sharing. The uh, plastic version or the metal version. But now they have an upgraded CVD axle shafts. So you get a pretty good amount of steering, and it's pretty smooth, so pretty dope. Small scale motoring, he got some slime balls on the way. Sheesh. I wonder if it's for your uh, scale trail rig or for the uh, little UTB-18. Hardline Killers, my, bo my boy, what's good? You getting the Maz today? That's gonna be your very first 124th build. Damn, they're pretty pretty fun builds. Shout out to Maz, he's been pushing hard at where everything's pretty much in stock. So that's cool. Uh let's see. You grabbed a few things from the local hobby shop. Yeah, shout out to my local hobby shops, uh PCH Hobbies. They had a bunch of crazy deals too they had the black friday the small business saturday and on the small business saturday if you spend like over 20 or 25 bucks you get a raffle ticket and like third second and first place was like some epic rcs i think the first place was like a creighton 8s so crazy Casey lazy got a big boy damn that's what's up. We'll take a look at the cheat code right now. The new cheat code. <clears throat> Putting on that UTB-18. There you go. Oh yeah, the Super 8's for the China Ripper. There's Mark right there. Those Super... uh, The China Ripper. I actually got that too. I don't know if I, guess, if I showed you guys that. But let me bring on Mark. <laughs> Right. Yo, yo. Yo. What is good? There we go. Sorry. Right. Down too low. Really for you. You are. Oh, no. No problem, my guy. How's your you man? What do you got going on here? Tire swap? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's. Let's just hop right in and talk about the builds. We're checking out what people got um, for over the weekend, if they picked up any sales lately or if they what were they had their eyes on. So <clears throat> like George Green, G Green, he got a carbon fiber Spectre XL. Oh, and, nice. Oh, yeah. And he's currently upgrading the right UTB. Oh, yeah. Flubber stuffers, people got some 155s for the for the UTB and uh, pretty dope. Did you get some? Picking up. I didn't yet, but uh, I'm about to uh, order them pretty soon. 
Oh, Hopefully yeah. they don't sell out, but if not, I'll definitely have to just wait for the next drop. I'm going to put them on my TF2. They're going to be insane. Yeah, yeah. That's the good. ultimate hardliner leafer. Nothing um, gives me. Yeah. Hardline killers himself. He got a cheat code. He's going to grab one, so that's dope. And uh, T. Frady picked up some CBDs for the the Mias portals. Yeah, mine say maybe tomorrow or the, on Wednesday. Okay. So, shout out in the chats if you guys find any good deals. That way people can hop on it too. So, there's some good deals going down. 97 bucks. FMS Jimny on Amazon right now. <laughs> um, Enjoy let's TV. check out our... Uh, Dude, I want to get a UTB eighteen, but not anytime soon. <laughs> this thing, this thing has got portals now, so I think this will be my new little fun, fun rig. But yeah, I did a quick, quick, quick weekend build. It's a mass design P code. No, well, sort of, but it's just a. It was a chassis that was just sitting there. <clears throat> So I was like, man, I need to clean these, clean all this part bins out, build something. So believe it or not, guys, this was, these have just been like parts laying around. So had a cheat code, titanium chassis kit, went ahead and put the mofo set up, the Nick Albin motor plate. I don't think you guys can get these anymore. Let me know if you guys can get these still, because I, I need another one. But they're on, I think, yeah, they're on a mobile anymore. I don't know. Let me know, guys. You know, I have to keep, rock the ultimate setup up here. RS one hundred, NSD combos. So the main main attraction of the build is the. Mia's portals. Have you installed the CBDs on yours yet? No, that's what I was saying. It says they're Tuesday or Wednesday. Okay. I think they're in Compton. So usually takes two or three days after that. That's what I'm getting, more or less. That's Not too bad. Good. And they, they don't bind. So... They also got uh guys brass outers and and covers. So these little portals are sick. They're nylon bit. ones, lightweight. Put the weight where you want it. So this one's all bare bone. I like how they have the little trusses. But yeah, I actually got to drive this one today. If you guys saw my story, put a little Emacs uh, custom AM32. I don't know what you want to call it. I just call it a drone drone ESC. But uh, I think these are going to be popular for next year, guys. If not already. Shout out to my guy, my good friend, RC enthusiast and buddy of mine, uh, Small Scale Motoring. Here on Instagram, he actually uh, wired this one up for me, got me to, you know, simple little plugs, because he normally puts it on his G-Speed builds and stuff, so got me this hooked up, I plugged oh, it yeah. up to the Nano Beast, and uh, I haven't touched it, like, programming-wise, and let me tell you guys, these little things are silence the Outrunners. And look how small they are. I even have a little BEC from NSDRC tucked underneath. So compact, lightweight, and uh, it's pretty fun. It kind of feels like a, a, a fusion in a sense, as in that low-end torque. So 
shout out to uh, Small Scale Motoring. If you guys are kind of interested in one of these, you know, he's all about the RC community. And uh, he is a busy guy, too. So he doesn't really charge much for profit or anything like that, mainly just cost of what it takes to make it. So depending on if you want, like, a BEC on it or anything like that, you know, you can feel free to message him and uh, you can get on the waiting list because I think these ESCs take some time to get to. And I'm sure he can't do too many at a time because we all got stuff to do. But out of the passion, he definitely uh, is welcome to anybody to messaging him if you guys – Want to hop on that. And then also uh, KZ Lazy, I think. I don't want to put him on blast. But, yeah, small scale motoring. Appreciate you, brother. Um, but I don't know if KZ Lazy is still maybe up to the good goods, too, with something like that. Feel free to let us know. But if you guys are interested in these, I think these are going to be the future. We should learn about them because they're pretty compact. And... You know, I'll plug it up while we guys while we chat. Um, Wait, how many amps is yours? Let's it's see. I'm, I'm just I'm just looking at it from here. So it says 45 yeah. amps. Okay. So same thing. Same thing, Kyle sent. Okay. It says two to five S rated. Yep. So right, cool. I just got to get my laptop working. You can program it and everything, but you just need like something something specific and it's kind of uh you know diy do at your own risk kind of thing too but the more you learn about it i'm sure you'll be able to program it pretty easily so i'm just gonna not touch it for right now but as you can see you got a lot of real estate lightweight the light bulb goes on the side for me and you know Still tuning and testing this rig, but it's pretty fun. I'll turn it on. We can uh, chat with it. But I know Mark has got a uh, portal cheat code right there in front of us with the uh, the S10. Yeah, that's the uh, 2.0 or 3.0 maybe. I don't remember. I think I might have started with straight axles on this thing way back. This is a prototype with the lower skid. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then it had RC all-wheel drive portals for a little while, and Power Wagon? Yeah, Power Wagon was on this for a little bit. It's had 17,000 different tires tested. So, I just went back to what I know. Hard body. It's got the pancake. My Casey Lazy Special Sidewinder 2 with the 8.4. The older version of RS100. Uh, indoor shocks with the limiters. Cut springs. And then my new favorite tires. Can't say enough good things about these things. All the boom tires are amazing. Dude. Rocking the V2 them. flutters in these. Um, those are the 50. Two, yeah, 52 mil, and these are the 59s on here. Rock a little weathering on the rims on these bad boys. Slowly working on the outside of this before I do the interior. Starting to look like my 110. Pretty dope. I like that. It's fun to drive. I love that. I, I don't know how it would do with the big tires, but it it rocks, man. That's that Spectre XL. <clears throat> but yeah, you, see how you guys can't even hear the Outrunner running? Right. Like, not at oh, all. It's crazy. Dude. Super cool. So, shout out again. Thanks again, brother. Small scale motoring. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, I wanted to also talk about these. Do you got these? Because I don't have the booms like you do. I only have them on the uh, the acres. Yeah, that you bust that out because that's the exact same rim I mounted mine on. <laughs> they look pretty badass with the, the double stars, dude. A lot of tires. 
No joke. They look good with the the Maz wheels. I did the rings too. Oh, now that's but tough. I need something with some weight for these. You know, they're sticky, but they don't give much. I think you experienced that today. Yeah. So I even vented them. Oh, yeah. I always they feel them. like but, soft, right? But right? on the rocks, they're pretty. I mean, the tread's too all terrain, guys. So don't get all hype like the hard line killer tar tire or anything. But mm -hmm. for what it did. Cam 3 knockoffs. Yeah, perfect ones, too. For what it did pretty impressed but i know that like i had to throw these on you know when i got home from my original cheat code and sure enough these things <laughs> just it's crazy so i need like a another I just set think of the carcass like jacob talked about a few weeks ago with these it's so thick it doesn't conform yeah because there's nothing They're wrong with cool, guys so these will be killer on the TRX-4M. Yeah, some with some weight. So I was going to show you guys real quick on here. Let's see. Let's get the If you guys have been modding your TRX-4M, let me know what you guys have been doing. See, here we go. The TRX-4M. Same size as like a stock tire, as in the width wise, maybe a little bit thinner. But I'll tell you that this compound is insane. Even comparing them to the sticky, icky Mickey's, this one's pretty good, but you know, it's kind of tough. So I think these would be pretty good. Like, a, I do have the flubber stuffers in them. We'll have to test them. So these tires aren't going to go on the portals. So we're going to throw them on TRX4. And we'll Which test them like that. What did you say? What, what flubbers are in there? I only have the V2s in there. And I think the V2.2s would be amazing. Like even better. So here's something with a... It would look like guys these these things look sick oh <laughs> i'll just zoom in oh all that shock too i'm just gonna have my shotgun installed there we go so it gives like the same offset especially with the maz wheels nice <clears throat> that looks good yeah, they look, they look sick. So if you guys like those, I think these will perform amazing on the TRX 4M. So I think you need all the um, tire patch for the, the TRX 4M. Kind of wide. Like it's just the, it's a heavy body and everything. Yeah, what are but, those weigh? What are these weigh? The tires? No, the the rig stock. The stock rigs they start around like at a at a pound. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, like four fifty. A lot better. Yeah. You're so I know a lot of cheat code, left band body. What? Just a diff cover. For the yeah, so for that Lexan one, so I do have a hard body sort of. I kind of was looking through my little stash of what I have. Where did I put it? If it's anywhere. I think I forgot it, but it's in the house. Oh, no, it's right in front of me. <laughs> uh -huh. Check this out, guys. You can go to Flub RC, and you can, like, grab just a cab. Just like RC four-wheel drive, you can just grab... The cab, obviously, he'll give you the grill and stuff. Just dope. So I went with the cab, and then I had this old little barrage cage laying around. I'm thinking, like, pre-runner style. Or not pre-runner. Flatbed, just 
pure rock crawler, half cab style. So I can either have you busted out the Joseph. <laughs> I busted out the Joseph. Yeah, the half cab. Oh, what is it? It's not half cab. Oh, yeah. There's so many different variations people call them. Um, cab, uh, cab back, fucking truggy, depending on how it was actually mounted. Yeah. Yeah. Thinking like truggy or something like that, but this is the vision, guys. Cool. Now you put like a tent on it and a cooler and spare tire, and you be all like Australian style. All right. <laughs> that looks dope, though. I like that. Seems cool. Definitely would need right. to kind of put some, make sure the front of the body. Oh, well, with the smaller tires, it clears. So anything bigger, I'll have to shave the body. But Maz Carbon is sold out. Say what? Yeah, I got the last one. No way. Yep. When'd you get one? Uh, last week. Damn. Hardline killer right here is looking for one. Um, Chinoweth wants to know how wide okay. that bed is. Like the little cat, the little barrage thing. Yeah, I'll measure it real quick. A rough estimate. Let's see. We'll get them back in stock. I won't worry about it. Matt, I think Matt's yeah. on here, right? I think so. Yeah, he's on here. Right now, he's he's just cranking out what he's got, I think, and staying busy, and then I'm sure that's it's coming soon. This bed, the width, more or less, is like 75, 74, around there. Talking about, like, the width of this. I don't know if that's what you're talking about. City so wants to put it behind the FJ. Oh, that's what I'm saying. You know, I want I want to wait for that pinched SR5 if I want to put a hard body on this. Because I actually like the proportions of the the bug like this. I've been I wanted to put it on the Evo, uh -huh. but it kind of looks pretty legit on this one. Still. You know, with just a little bit bigger tires, like some some booms. Can you show me those Hustler tires? Uh, Hustlers. Show everybody in the camera. So, you guys haven't seen those? Those are the Boom Racing Hustlers. These are the 51s, I want to say. Yeah, they look like the ones inside. And oh. those are the black compounds? Yeah. So you vented them with V1s? Vented V1 front, and then I just use their foams in the back. Their foams are actually really nice. How would you compare the those tires to these tires that I'm driving with, with uh, KM3 vented V1s. Uh, I think right out of the gate, these were better. See what happens when they break in more, but yeah, because the KM3s are always my go-to smaller tire. And then I put, um, took those off that green Bronco and put the TPDs on there. And that thing turned into a hardline killer. And then uh, tried, decided to try the Hustler to see if it's just that tread or if it's actually the tires. Um, yeah, the, all, their, all their treads seem to work really good. I haven't tried. I haven't gotten a chance to run these really small ones. The, where are they? Uh, Max Grapplers. Those are super legit too yeah <clears throat> jacob's guy 
gonna have beadlock rings for these because these actually do have tiny little screws. Yeah, these are these are uh, black dot too. Super fucking sneaky dude. Damn, that is sick. Those are legit. I like these. Yeah, so I was been looking at. I think I'm gonna. Oh, that's who I wanted to shout out to, guys. Boom Racing, Cyber Monday, guys. They got saved like ten or fifteen percent off. Hmm. So save on that tax or save on that shipping. I think it's called Cyber Ten. Is the code. So I'm considering whether to pick up the Boom Racing Hustler tires that Mark showed or some of those Enjora mini pin tires. So those mini pins look kind of like this. These are the big pin tires. But these uh, mini pins will be the same height as, say, like, these ones and they'll be not as wide as these but a little bit wider than these so would that look good on this or does that be kind of weird the smaller ones would probably look cool with that bug style body Yeah, I think I don't know. I don't think you can go wrong with either tire. Yeah. Let's see. Everybody's yeah, everybody's looking for parts, trying to get parts. Yeah, you gotta get the parts. <laughs> Appreciate you, hardline killers. Yeah. Speaking of hardline killers, if you guys haven't followed hardline killers here on Instagram, guys. Make sure to just click on him and then click follow. But, dude, he's the homie. And uh, all of the homies seems like the hardline killers around here in SoCal area who like to drive their uh, 110s, like half cab, crazy builds, carbon fiber, merge style. They're actually coming into the 24 game and they want to build little hardline killers, like mini ones. So, dude, I'm glad you guys are watching and learning. Not necessarily learning, but seeing what's what's out there, what we've been up to, and what the whole micro community's basically been evolving the little game into. Um, if you guys have been kind of still driving the TRX 4M, Gotten a couple, you know, we've gotten a few weeks of drive time into it now. Curious to see, like, what's good, guys. Have you been liking both platforms now that you got, like, say, your Line Slayer and your Big Bertha Beauty Queen, little new newcomer on the block? Um, Need that bug body desert? Yeah, my boy. This one's like yours, huh? You guys yeah. go check out Buck. Go check out Desert RCs. He's got the sickest like four wheel steer, sick ass bug bug Did build. You get that Asia Keys, Steve. Did I get this inspiration? I think. I think so because. I've never done like a black one with the undertone coming out. You know what I mean? How people kind of pick like different underlayers to show. Right, but did you but, buy it on ABTs? Yeah. No. Okay. No? I actually bought it on. What is it? Micro four by four. It's from a different guy. Do you know that? Remember that website? I guys? remember that, but I don't remember what that website was called now. Because that guy is the only place you can get this one. 
Um, the guys that are saying Asia Tees, that one is actually a hard body one, which would be something like this. Yeah. Uh, Desert RC. If you like this style. Oh, There's quick this. quick answer. That uh, micro, quote-unquote, chassis from G-Speed, that's not going to be a 24. That's for the Capra. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not, not micro. Still crazy, though, to see what people are doing, but they definitely are putting, like, full-size components Oh yeah, in, in the build. So yeah, it's pretty RF dope. One point nine with four seven five tires. <laughs> Already, dude. That's yeah, a little a couple much. Of those. Yeah, but hey, we're gonna see some crazy stuff. We're gonna see some some widened ones out too. You know, as wide as regular axles. Put some regular axles on there. Put some portal one ten portal axles on the UTB. 18. Dude, that'd be crazy. It'd be like a little mini, like a sporty. Imagine how small the chassis would be. Yeah, I mean, they do... A lot of people do those um, belly draggers with the cap axles. So just be a little bit smaller version. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny, though? Like, the UTB chassis with real 10-3 portal <laughs> Capra axles. Yeah, that that's just ridiculous. So. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, dude. That would it'd be, be it'd be insane. as wide as it would be long. <laughs> it would be like it would be like this right here, and then the tires would be like boom, like way out here. Yeah, that would that's be funny. funny. Oh, old time RC. Does that sound right? Yeah, there you guys there go. There's an RC. Go. Thank Ryan you. Lacosa. Who shouted that out? That was Lacosa. Old time RC. And he also goes by like mini 4x4 four four RCs. That's why I was like thinking of that or something That's like that. So Google old time RC and you'll see the website <clears throat> to buy that yeah. Lexan bug. It is a little thin. As you guys can see right here, I'm going to bust out my bully. Dude, this one, I need to drive it again. It's just ready to shred, but. Oh, those are both the same. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So as you guys can see, um, let's see. <laughs> Your rear tire come off the rim? <laughs> Dude. Yeah, that's why I stopped driving it. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> the front one, too. Damn. Yeah, I was working on it, and then I was like, I'll just do something else real quick. <laughs> yeah so look at see I'm starting to crack a little bit it's not bad over here big crack so glued it it's kind of my fault because I actually have the interior in there and that's pretty much it this roll cage in there see it makes it pretty strong compared to this one kind of dents in a little bit more so that little roll cage that I made. It's crazy. No, it's very sick it. <laughs> right? Forgot about this thing. Little race car. That's a rat. Dude. I need to make another one of these. But the bully. Don't be afraid, guys, of the bully. I think it's sold out or what? Got a couple more. But I don't, I don't know. Honestly, bully's exclusive to get. It's hard to get, guys. But if you guys have one, they're they're really good, pretty capable. I don't remember if he was still in the pre-order stage or if he closed it out. I think they uh, a lot of people got their pit bulls and bullies. Whoever got them, okay. Let's see. Bully game. No, that Capra, Capra's pricey. Yep, definitely pricey. What is it? Two fifty. Three two fifty. 
two fifty. Yeah. I mean, for what it is, I don't know. At that point, I just, I guess, I'd still just build a one ten. I don't know. I guess I have to see one in person before I make a full decision on that one. Dude. Speaking of the long wheel bases, too. Oh, man. We both got the SR5 gang over here. Oh, was that today? Um, no, oh, all yeah. that stuff was from the vaults. Oh, okay. Well, you the posted SR5. it today. Yeah. Someone, someone said something like the scale rig breaking out the hard lines or something. <laughs> something funny like Dude, that. Surprisingly, <laughs> man, this thing just eats. Just so planted. I think Burner said that. Yeah, that sounds right. <clears throat> A lot of people who have the XL, like, they really are pretty su surprised at, you know, how it does that little tire movement, but it just slams you back down in the front. And to me, that's, like, pretty sick for sure. Compared to the TRX-4Ms being that they're the same wheelbase, the TRX-4M is wider, guys, so can handle like the, the side hills a little like definitely a lot better but not as much because as it is with all the upgrades available you know the side hill to carry this big top heavy body you'll definitely have to side hill like scale not necessarily hard lining style compared to you know one of these they're crazy it seems but to climb pretty well, though. Dude. So I was kind of thinking of the car a little bit, right? And the um, wheel yeah. yeah, let's check it out. You guys want to hop on? We have some requests. Let me check my requests real quick. Oh, shit. The Tuesday crew wants to get on the Monday show. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see oh, that. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Well, if you guys, you know, want to hop on for a little bit and say what's up, we can definitely, uh, whoever wants to come on, come say what's up. That's totally cool. If you guys want to show us what you guys have been up to. Ooh, before I forget, that new pancake style Komodo. The yeah, mini Komodo. thank you. I knew there was something else you want to talk about. There is a good one out there, guys. It's that that little what he whatever Mark said the mini Komodo the mini or Komodo. It's not micro, yeah. right? No, because the micro is like the nano, right? Okay, okay. And the mini is sense. like the pancake. Supposedly, it's smaller with more KB. So I like this thing. This thing's dope, man. So um, that's smaller than yours. Uh, I don't think it's by too much, but yeah, it's uh, what did we say it was? KB, it's like a couple hundred more KB or something like that. Yeah, from what I am, if I'm not mistaken, that it's about this size still, if I'm not mistaken, as in the. What am I trying to say? As in the, uh, like it's tiny like this is what I'm trying to say, but it's a little bit rounder. So it's definitely well, a lot know. smaller than yours because I was looking at the dimensions and these are about the same width. It's just a flatter one. Okay. So I think it's the same, but flatter than this. Oh, is that the one that Brandon's had for a while that never got released and it finally getting released? I think Kyle so. Kyle said 920 cars to give us a presentation. Uh, yeah, right. And what's the new What's the new team or the new Mofo pancake? What's that, M-Dub? 
There's a new one. Yeah, let me know, Team Mofo. We haven't, honestly, yo, M Dub, you're going to be the, the Team Mofo ambassador? Definitely. Because, shout it out. <laughs> Just because I haven't heard from Mofo in a minute. I don't know if you have, Mark. No. Nope. He's uh, usually yeah. been like cranking out crazy stuff. But yeah, I went on the website the other day and it didn't seem like uh, too much news. Where Racing can you find him different. teasing his little stuff? Where can you find him teasing his stuff, M Dub? He says that. Oh, he's doesn't he do Mofo Mondays too? That might be why we don't see him too much. Oh. Yeah, you can't go wrong with either company. I just think. Shout out. Let me know if, how the uh, those ultimate ESCs are. I think a couple of you guys got some, huh? Acres disappeared. Like how so? Like, the more website all, like his products are his products are selling out. Oh, okay. Definitely. He's been. I think he's been a little busy too. But. Yeah, man. That's why you got to get them in while you can. Those acres, dude. I'm about to redo mine real quick just because mine's mine motors, you know, took the crap on me out of nowhere. They don't even get to enjoy this as much. So I'm going to put the Holmes 050 in there. Ooh, I just ordered one more. I got the last one on the website, apparently. I try to get two, but I can only get one. What'd you get the last of? The 55? Uh, Sorry. No, I'll probably put the 66 in here. Yeah, I gotta try that next, too. Just make it extra torquey and chill. Buggy style. So I'm gonna put that 66 in there, and then we got ourselves a five-channel receiver. Kind of like this small. So that way I can use the knob function on the GT5. So I can kind of be driving like all crazy like this. Oh, yeah. yeah also wanted to right. shout out KZ Lazy. Oh, yeah. The one hand. Yeah. Ooh. Thank you for the little holiday gift or emergency gift, I should say. You guys want to enjoy my lives with the Traxxas with ease? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but a little one-handed uh, steerer, courtesy yeah. of Harley Designs. I think these are free. So if you guys want to print your own, print your own. Uh, thanks again, my boy. Appreciate you. And then cool. uh, I think I got another. Uh, G Green, one? man. Told you that was going to be money, right, buddy? <clears throat> also been meaning to Left shout out my boy over here. Left Coast. Thank you. A little bit of uh mentions right here. Sinister Customs twenty four sent me this, so thank you my boy, I appreciate you. We uh pretty much traded banners and stuff. Super cool guy. He's out. He does pretty crazy custom builds too. So check him out. But definitely, let's see. Killer Yoda sent me a request. I didn't see. We'll get him on real quick. <laughs> Send me the request. GM GG Green. Yo. Yo, KZ Lazy. Thank you, my boy. Oh, yeah. He He's actually awesome. included the fresh tusks. That's what I wanted to say. Wait, what? Yep. What? what are those? Don't these look good? Oh, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. That's gold. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> But 
Damn, these are still good for the Yoda. Oh, yeah, this is what I want to show you guys right here. We got the, uh, that Mias. Dude, let me get, oh, okay, it says two right here. Let me see. Let me get you guys in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't, I don't see that stuff since you're the host. I see where it goes now. I see where it is now. It's down there on the bottom. There's like little bubble things coming up. Hello. Yo. Yo. Oh, we'll close, we'll close the last uh, segment with you guys. You guys doing a live tomorrow? I think so. I know. I think it might be me. Uh, yeah, Brandon, I'm pretty sure it's just John. No, Josh is still at Disney. I think it's just going to be me. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Thanks. I'll just tool around. What you guys doing? Um, um, man, so you already got that? Yes, sir. Well, dang. That's looking nice. Yeah. The mini yeah, if you guys don't know what this is, it's the uh, Mia... We call it AKA Ripper. So, pretty cool little uh, dude. Mias is on fire, guys. What do you guys think? Coming out with some it good stuff. Come, it all comes in uh, like a flat black print. Yeah, this is exactly okay. how it comes, guys. Go check out the quality of the print. Pretty smooth, if you do say so myself. Yeah, that's clean. That's pretty good. Well, right. Sixty-seven bucks or something like that. Yeah, seventy bucks, sixty-seven bucks. So Damn, you know, with, uh, a roof or whatever, a hood, then definitely a roof. So this roof, if you guys look at the chassis, has an integrated light bar. That's cool. So you can oh. put a race light and. Oops. They actually have a light for it. I think I have it somewhere, but there was two on like, Amazon, and the one that bid, I believe, sold out like the next oh, day after yeah. we, Jacob put this on. <laughs> awesome! We, we, right. Wait, isn't it the light bar that changes colors? The like red, white, and blue yeah. flashing one. Yep, it's got like high beam, low beam flashers and chase lights. It looks good. That tiny. That's a smoking deal for less than $70. Yeah. yeah. So then it also comes with an interior still. Oh, nice. So you got a cool little interior you can customize. You know, grab a little model kit um, steering wheel if you want. Yeah, just paint it. Hmm? Yeah, plenty of that stuff laying around. All right. And then it comes with, like, uh, comes with the front piece. So it kind of has like the cage sticking out to go in between the, the grill or like coming out, if you guys know what I mean. But it comes with a sick little, I don't know what you guys call the style of the Jeep, the JK? Yeah, J JK style. Okay, so the JK style grill, round eyes, pretty sick, got servo clearance, and uh, dude... 70 bucks, guys. Amazon or the Mias website already has different locations for the shock mounts. Has some other link mounts. Maybe you can put like a sway bar. Make a, Dude, maybe I'm going to make a sway bar. Put some trailing arms on there from uh, JEC or MoFo or something. Wow. You just got the wheels turning. And right, late at night for me. And then, um, Fury Tech actually made like a crazy censored, I think, little mini or sensorless like in runner one that fits on the uh, the SCX twenty four transmission. Mm. Like, something crazy, I don't know, but I think it's called like the Godzilla or something. It's for the monster trucks. Oh, okay. Sure. Oh, might be just too much, but yeah, definitely would want it to go fast. So that's the point of 
that one. Uh, what about you guys? What's that? The ultimate Jeep? Is that what's underneath that one? This one is actually a new build. It's all stock. Except for the servo. Okay. It's a little bit of electronic relocation. The the first essential mods to get that good yeah. weight bias forward weight. And actually, this Jeep performs the exact same as my Bully on a stock chassis. You got some uh, weight up front, like some brass stiff covers, some knuckles. Yeah. So the only weight I have on this truck is mm -hmm. the wheels and then the brass diff cover in the front. These little guy racing parts, um, fork feedlock wheels are super heavy. Do you have the aluminum rings in the back? Uh, no, they're, I think the rings are all brass when they come, when they, when you buy the wheels as a set, I could be wrong. Oh, yeah. nice. They definitely well, feel like brass. They're pretty heavy. Well, I definitely can uh, agree and see that, you know, you can make <laughs> you can make a good stock car crawl and keep up with the big boys for sure. Do you yeah. know what you're doing yeah. and stuff like it's that? All, it's all stock besides relocating a couple things, tires and wheels, link. Which I decided decided to straight link the front with a four with a three link, and then keep the rear end high clearance with my high clearance link. There you go. Comp style. Nice. Yeah. My oh, mic. <laughs> Your micro's getting dusty over there, huh? I drive them. Well, now it's cold, but. When it was warm, I was driving them. Just been doing big truck stuff. <laughs> there you go. Let me scoosh the. Well, yeah, this will probably be my next build after the I uh, dial in that that cheat code portal. And I got plenty of more projects to do. I'm stuck with the 24s for a while, and then once all that stuff's done. <laughs> I'm sure more stuff will come out. Another SCX twenty four or something like that. This is this has been what my time has been going to. That looks really good, Brandon. Yeah, it's getting there. It'll have different. I'm gonna make different body panels for it. I just got these to fit on it for now. Well, at least side ones. I might not make a hood and roof, but I don't know. Just a lot of tinkering, getting the cage to fit right over the chassis. Well, that's dope, my guy. Oh, dang yeah. it. Turn, it really does turn the chest into a body. Yeah, it does. <laughs> There's not much. Holy crap. It. It's pretty sweet, though. I've just, I've literally had all this chassis for like two months now. just been waiting on certain parts and little things. But it's, it's freaking sweet. It looks really good. Yeah. What chassis is that? Brazen scale, high low. Mm, nice. Only thing I need to order now is I need to order another drive shaft because the one for the front I ended up using for the rear for this thing. Oh, it has its own little mount for the drive shaft. Too. Yeah, so that way you get full clearance instead of it just cutting straight through the middle. Mm, Hardline nice. killers. Just ordered the Tai Chi code. Check him out. <laughs> he got ten dollars off. I'm excited to see the cheat code hardline killer build. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's gonna be cool. I mean, I'm sure he's in good hands. He knows what to do. And definitely I can't wait either. Um Tag me, my boy. Tag me in your little builds or if you post if you have any questions. Feel free to hit anybody up in the chat. Um, yeah, guys, it's been a crazy, crazy hour. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys are going to oh. 
do anything this week with your 24s? Micro life? Um, decide if I want to paint this visor I just got in today. Oh, nice. I got two in, actually. Where'd you get that? I got, cool. Yeah, where'd you get those? Um, I actually got them custom made for me by uh, Big J Custom. Uh, Big J's garage. He made them. Oh, okay. Nice. Very cool. Yeah, I got it mounted up, and I just put the screws through and put some nuts on the back of it. I'm trying to decide right now if I want to paint it black or not. This. I'd leave it raw. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna leave it raw too. This is the black I had for it. I personally like the one without the slits more. That's just me. Oh, that's funny. I think raw with the slits look cool. Different. The, the slits are actually supposed to replicate the one tenth scale ones made uh, made by IERC. Yeah. Because, um, was it TRX Four Caller who has the six by six power wagon in tenth scale it's has one on there, and that's. I'm pretty sure his 6x6 six six is an FJ. No, the there's, one? there's two TRX4 crawlers. One of them, um, one of the two guys has a power, red power wagon that has a visor on it, and that's where I got the idea. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then I got the Christmas bag <laughs> for Christmas. Oh, well, yeah, and guys. Present. Are you guys gonna ever get a portal build going on for your uh, for your twenty fours? Maybe. Me personally, no. My dad, he has portals right now, and I don't know if he's gonna buy another set. But yeah, I only got big portals. <laughs> I think Venus is the last day too. You can actually get these uh, complete set of portal axles for thirty six dollars. So. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Pretty um, sweet, guys. I think after Christmas, if I decide to do a portal build, it'll probably be with the Mias River and their portals. They're on sale like crazy, dude. Yeah. If I were to do portals, I don't know. Oh, yeah, here's the Maybe. portal build. How are the trails? My dad's portal those? build. Trails are uh, wide. No, These are narrower. And, like, you know, the trios are, once again, they're metal, so they got a, a lot of weight. These are the RCL with dry portals. One of you guys are uh, echoing, I think. I think maybe, uh, let's see. Oh, now we're not echoing. There we go. Hmm. But, uh... Yeah, those those ones are pretty cool too. They're just super heavy for my style, like yeah. for my taste. Um, I like how they roll too much. You know, that was the only thing I didn't like. Yeah, These I ones, they feel super light, and they feel like I can actually get away with hard lining on a portal rig. So it's pretty cool, and they're are affordable. They, yeah, are they plus four on each end? I don't um, think they're that much. Do you, Steve? No, uh, may, maybe. Maybe but plus two on each end. Four plus four total. If that. Mm. No, they may be like plus three at least. They come in skinnier than the RC all drive for sure. Yeah. Because these are the Enjora ones on here. Oh, I guess they are. But different rim too, so the offset's different. Oh, sorry, I'm not even in the screen. Dude. Sorry. Mm. Yeah, so they're a little... Close enough. Yeah. I don't know. I've yeah, been... guys. We're probably going to close it up right now. Yeah. And uh, oh, that's cool that you guys uh, hopped on. Thanks for sending a request. Uh, if anybody else wants to send a request next time, more than welcome to come kick it. Um, but yeah, yeah, we definitely had a cool hour talking about the holiday aftermath. Everybody's still in that last minute crackhead mode, want to buy something. 
uh, <laughs> Maz Designs, $10 off the cheat codes or $10 off the beadlocks or 25 off for both. And uh, Boom Racing, Cyber 10, Today, and a couple more like Enjora and stuff like that. So check them out. But guys, everybody who's been tuning in, appreciate everybody tuning in. And as always, Mark, my homie, yep. er, and everybody, thank you, the Mini Line and Killer Yoda for hopping yeah, on. Brandon, my God. Brandon Joseph, you. thanks, guys. I know it was brief, yeah, but yeah. we'll get you on earlier. Yes, sir. So yeah, check you guys out tomorrow or what? Yeah. Tiny um, Tuesdays. Think... Brandon, you're still doing the live, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Support yeah. the homie. Come chat with him. Hop on. His live yeah, too. Jump on, man. You guys got nothing to do. Want to hang out? Yeah. Thanks again, everybody. Have a great night. All right, boys. Peace. See ya.